Um, my opponent states that uh, autonomous cars can be recalled just like normal cars. And um, my response to that is, are you trying to say that we shouldn't have um, invented cars because they could eventually be recalled as well? Um, and my, my other opponent said that um, some people will not be able to afford these autonomous cars because of how expensive the, the technology will be. And uh, my response is that, yes, cars will be expensive at first, but as autonomous vehicles become the norm, it will decrease in cost. And uh, a piece of evidence I have on that is from KPMG International. Um, according to research conducted by JD Power and Associates, 20% 20, 20 of consumer surveys said that they would definitely probably be willing to pay as much as 3,000 for autonomous driving applications. However, today's more advanced sensors such as LIDAR cost tens of thousands of dollars. As convergence of the two technologies occur, fewer sensors would be needed, perhaps bringing the total cost down to 1,000 to 1,500 per vehicle. As economies of scale are achieved, when the pricing is right, the rate of adoption will likely increase, enabling users to realize greater value from B2B vehicle to vehicle communication and creating a reinforcing effect. As more people adopt the new technologies, greater economies of scale will bring costs down, attracting still more consumers. And um, my opponent also says that um, much money will be wasted on autonomous cars. And uh, you can say the same thing for luxury cars and how people waste money on that when they just buy one car or base one. And uh, yes, money will be wasted, but uh, lives will be saved. As I uh, earlier mentioned, approximately 33,000 people died from vehicle crashes. Um, this number could easily be reduced to from 33,000 to 3,300 for autonomous cars. Um, my opponent also says that autonomous cars are hackable. And uh, here's a piece of an article from CNN Money titled, um, title, Your Car is a Giant Computer. Most people aren't aware their computers are already high-tech computers. Their cars are already high-tech computers. And now they're, we're networking them by giving them wireless connectivity. Yet there's a danger to turning your car into a smartphone on wheels. It makes them a powerful target for hackers. So basically, the cars of today can already be hacked but people buy them anyways. As technology advances, hacking will always be a prominent problem, and those who can prevent such hacking from happening will continue to develop new methods of professions and precautions. Um, my opponent also says that um, many insurance company employees will lose their jobs. And uh, my response to that is that um, Geico's um, insurance slogans are saving people money for over 75 years. Uh, there's an easier way to save money. So insurance companies will not be necessary if they care about us like they say they do. Thank you.